Hello everybody, I'm Storm here, and welcome back to Dragon Age Inquisition. In the last episode, we continued our work here at the Grand Ball at the Winter Palace of Orlais. Uh, we uh, were able to discover and fight some Tevinter infiltrators in the palace. And then we came back to the ballroom and... Uh, oh, well, before that, we met the Ambassador Briala of the Elves, who had a proposition for us that maybe she could potentially end up in power before the night is out. Uh, so that's in the mix. And then we came back to the ballroom, had a dance with a, one of the Grand Duchesses, I think it's Celine's cousin, uh, Duke Gaspard's sister, I think. I can't keep some of all of this straight, but it was somebody important. And we didn't exactly do well in the conversation we were having as far as the court approval went. It went way down. Now, from what I remember, it was a lot lower than currently is when we ended the episode. I thought it was somewhere in the single digits. Um, so I'm not exactly sure why it's at 25 now, but I'll take it. I didn't do anything. Um, now what we should be able to do is turn in some of these blackmail materials to Leliana. Oh, am I on the wrong side? Yes, I think this is the side that Leliana's on. Oh. Uh, do you say anything now? Okay, no. Uh, Liliana? So many crimes of fashion. I have some information. I found this out. I'm not sure of its value. Excellent. And that got me a bunch more court approval because we now have some leverage over some people. Are all the is here? And it got me some influence as well, plus 80. Very nice. Okay, so we need to continue gathering information, uh, figuring out what's going on here, and decide eventually who it is we're going to put in power in Orlais. There's arguments to be had on all sides. Um, so let's go see what we see. So, with 39 approval, that means we can go off grid for a little while. A lot longer than if it was at mm. 6. Oh, what's this? Just gossip. Okay, nothing important. Alright, to the Royal Wing. Okay, oh, we have party with us. Okay, so let's um, make sure that we are wearing our gear. It'd be nice if this got put on, put back on automatically. Oh uh, well. Scandalous lead. So, even Liliana thought this place was dangerous and you wanted to just walk in here. This party is looking up. Uh, all right. Oh, you guys really need to take some drinks. All right, there we go. Um. Sorry to cut in. 
I hope you're not disappointed I stole your dance partner. <laughs> no, not at all. No one's supposed to be here. Briala said... Oh, I shouldn't have trusted her. Briala? Briala sent you here? Briala told you to come to this wing of the palace? Not personally. The ambassador can't be seen talking to the servants. We get coded messages at certain locations, but the order came from her. She's been watching the Grand Duke all night. No surprise she wanted someone to search his sister's room. Ah. Uh, could anyone else have sent the order? Is there anyone else who knows the code and the drop location who could have written those orders? I... I don't know. Any of us could do it, but... No. No one else would send me here. It had to be Briala. Uh, this is Florian's room? So this room belongs to the Grand Duchess Florian. It used to. This had been her private room in Halam Shiral since she was a child. But this part of the palace was damaged, and the royal family moved to the guest wing. Uh, what were you looking for? What were you trying to find in Florian's old room? The message didn't say. I should have known it was a setup. And how did you get in? This wing is sealed. How did you get in here? Easy. The door was unlocked. One of the others probably handled it. Uh, let's see. You're brave to come here. It takes great courage to come to the royal wing unarmed. <laughs> it's not courage to blindly follow Briala's orders into a trap. I knew her. Before. When she was Celine's pet. Now she wants to play revolution, but I remember. She was sleeping with the Empress who purged our alienage. Ah, uh, really? The other elves don't know. Something like that could destroy Briala, if it were known. No. Some know she has a, a history with the Empress. But they believe she was just a favored servant. If the Inquisition will protect me, I'll tell you everything I know about our ambassador. Go to the ballroom. Find Commander Cullen. He'll keep you safe. Thank you. Make her protect you, Inquisitor. Hmm. Some more information about Briala. 230 gold, battle mage, male leg schematic. Nice. Keen machete. Oh, and the hollow statuette. Grab that. I won't be able to stay here too long. Locked from the other side. We're just in there. Requires more Hala statuettes. Okay, apparently it doesn't like me doing that. Huh. Ah, there's a hollow statuette. Secret love letter. Ooh, more blackmail. Get a court approval up. Masterwork dwarven mall and a long bearded axe. So let's see if this is now enough to get that door open. No, we need one more. Uh, somebody's not having a good night. Did I miss one? Uh, 
was there one back this way somewhere? Uh, let me see. Or is it from another section of the palace that I just... didn't get? He's dropping. I had no idea. All right, so it's a little bit more blackmail. We still need to go in there, but I think that I'm missing a statuette. Um, I'm going to pause the recording and do a little bit of searching, see if I can find this uh, statuette that we're missing. So I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I think I found one. It's in the trophy room. There was another room I didn't explore in here. And I found some orders. Philippe, move in on the western wing of the palace when I send you three shots of brandy. Not taking any chances, Gaspard. Alright. Seven out of ten holla. So let's head back there and see if I can open that door. I'm gonna pause recording while I head over there. Alright, so I'm back here. There we go. Empress's private quarters. Well, well, well. What have we here? Take a secret research. Some blackmail material. Oh, you notice my court approval up is up a little bit. I turned in some of that more, or some more of that blackmail to Leliana's. Uh. What happened? It's not what it looks like. Honestly, I would have preferred it if it were what it looks like. The Empress led me to believe I would be rewarded for betraying the Grand Duke. This was not what I hoped for. Ah, uh, really? I... The Empress did this to you? You're telling me that Empress Selene left you naked and trussed like a roast duck? Please, I beg you, don't tell Gaspard. The Empress beguiled me into giving her information about plans for troop movements in the palace tonight. She knows everything. Everything. The Duke's surprise attack has been countered before it ever began. She's turned it into a trap. The moment he strikes, She'll have him arrested for treason. Classic, Honeypot. Clever Celine. Even I'm impressed. I don't know which is worse. Celine for using such a tactic or him for falling for it. Hmm. Let's see. Do we want... So I guess we're not going to be going Briella. So we already have the elf who's going to testify against her. Um, do we want, I need you to testify. I'll protect you from Gaspard if you're willing to testify about Celine's trap. I'll do anything, anything. All right, I think we're probably leaning Everyone Gaspard, actually. The, mo the more I've mad. thought about it. Um, although it will cause some temporary instability, that having a good military leader in on the throne in Orlais would be better for us in the long run. Or in the immediate sh short term. Uh, not necessarily the long run. Um... 
There seems to be a connection through here. Um... Uh, through here? Uh, yeah. That sounds like a rift. What a pleasure. I wasn't certain you'd attend. Poor little ox. All of this must be so confusing. It was kind of you to walk into my trap so willingly. I was so tired of your meddling. Corypheus insisted that the Empress die tonight, and I would hate to disappoint him. Ah, so the mask comes off. Um, what does Corypheus want? Why kill the Empress? What does Corypheus want to achieve? Selene's death is a stepping stone on the path to a better world. Corypheus will enter the Black City and claim the godhood waiting for him. We will cast down your useless maker and usher in a united world, guided by the hand of an attentive god. I think not. Uh, what are you getting out of this? What exactly is in this for you? <laughs> the world, of course. I'll deliver the entire south of Thedas, and Corypheus will save me. When he has ascended to godhood, I will rule all Thedas in his name. Not likely. Your Orlesian royalty. Why would you help Corypheus attack your empire? You think so small, Inquisitor. Why settle for an empire when Corypheus will remake the entire world? I admit. I will relish the look on Gaspar's face when he realizes I've outplayed him. He always was a sore loser. Um... You won't get away with this, Florian. <laughs> but I already have. In their darkest dreams, no one imagines I would assassinate Celine myself. All I need is to keep you out of the ballroom long enough to strike. A pity you'll miss the rest of the ball, Inquisitor. They'll be talking of it for years. Kill her. Bring me the marked hand as proof. It will make a fine gift for the master. All right. We use the rift as a weapon. Oh, wrong one. This one. Lost control of my buttons there for a minute. Well, uh, let's see. We want to actually dispel, dispel one of these. Let's go with this one. over there. Uh, can I actually disrupt the rift? Let's try it. There we go. all that? Were those demons? There aren't any more of those blasted demons coming, right? Uh, those were, in fact, demons. 
Good eye. Those were definitely demons. Make her bless me. Demons? How could there be demons in the fucking Winter Palace? I knew Gaspard was a bastard, but I didn't think he'd feed me the fucking horrors over a damn bill. Uh, I guess Bard did this to you? Do Gaspard lured you out here? Well, his sister. But it had to come from him, didn't it? And all that garbage she was spewing doesn't mean anything. Gaspard had to be the mastermind. Uh... You sound Ferelden. Your accent sounds Ferelden. I thought you were one of Gaspard's mercenaries. Born and raised in Denerim. Seems like I should have stayed there. The Duke wanted to move on the palace tonight. But he didn't have enough fancy chevaliers. So he hired me and my men. He had to offer us triple our usual pay to come to Orlay. Stinking fancy cheesemongers. Um... He's breaking the truce? He's going to attack tonight? What about the peace talks? We already know he's going to attack. Nobles don't give a shit about honor and conduct unless it suits them. He'll do what it takes to claim the throne. Impressively ruthless of Gaspard, if predictable. You saved my life. I owe you. And Gaspard still hasn't paid me. You want me to talk to the Empress or the court or sing a blasted song in a chantry? I'll do it. Hmm. So we have basically something against everybody. And I guess it's going to be our decision as to which we use. As like I said, I'm leading Gaspard at the moment. I've pretty much thought about all three initially thinking that's oh what's that that the stability offered by Celine would be best oh to Vince ah Vince that correctly. There's something out here. This way, Grand Ballroom. Save Celine's life, then deal with the Duchess. 
Allow the Empress to die before dealing with the Duchess. So. Um, so we, we go with Celine. Where do we go with Gaspard? Uh, let me think because I need to make a final decision about this. All right, I think we're gonna go with Gaspard. We're gonna let Celine get assassinated, and then we'll deal with the Duchess. The Duchess will assassinate Celine personally. Wait for her to strike, then grab her. As you command. Let all gathered attend. Her Imperial Majesty will now address the court. My friends, we have lost much. We have each seen a child, a lover, a friend consigned to the flames. The darkness has closed in around us, but even now there is light. We must be that light. We must lead our people safely through these troubled times. We must be their guiding star. Tonight, the war dividing us must end. My friends, we are here to witness a historic moment. A great change is coming for all of us. Isn't that right, Gaspard? Interrupting your host. Poor Corypheus! Kill them! Yeah, I don't think I've ever done it this way before. I should thank you. You played your part marvelously. Both Celine and Gaspard destroyed in a single blow. The Council of Heralds will devour each other. And while they do, Corypheus will come. His army will march on Orlais straight from the depths of a nightmare, and all Thedas will fall. Mm, you won't live to see it. What a pity you won't live to see any of it. You don't think I came this far without an escape plan. Your death will be the crowning jewel of my victory tonight. So good of you to attend my soiree. Yeah, I'm not gonna die. Ah, she has an armor up. Down. Well, she seems to be immune to that. Let's do this. Let's see if she's immune to this. Ah, she's out of it. Find Florian! Hurry!
I know where she is. He's right there. guys Down. There she is. Back off a little bit. Probably not going to do anything. There she put up her armor. Running out of health. There, she's down. Medium or Legion Army Army, Sacrificial Dagger, Enhanced Leaping Shot Ring, and the Trepanner's Requital. Ah, something probably Sarah will be interested in. Alright, get back to the ballroom and see if we can clean up this mess a little bit. Wasting your time trying to stir the nobility against me. We are at war. I hardly have to stir them at all. Your sister murdered Celine. Everyone saw it. You're a traitor by association. What do you hope to gain, Rabbit? You can't claim Celine's empty throne for yourself. Maybe not. But I can keep it from you. Uh, use the blackmail material to discredit Briala and support Gaspard, or use blackmail material to put Briala in power. Uh, we're gonna support Gaspard. You're done meddling, Briala. Gaspard will be the emperor. You think you can keep him in power? Really? Will you sit by his throne and hold his hand to fend off the accusations of the court? Let's see... You killed ambassadors... I found a servant who can attest that you and the Empress were intimate at the time she purged Halim Shiral's alienage. If that were to get out, I don't see your allies standing with you for long. I see. Uh, Orlay needs stability. You've lost Briella. Gaspar will unopposed. Orlay needs stability. Well, then I wouldn't have killed the Empress. Um, you've lost. You've been outmaneuvered, Ambassador. It's over. So it seems. The game is over, Rabbit. You played well. 
but you lost. Your death today will bring years of security to the Empire. Come, my friend. You and I should address the court. Hmm. Iron Bull apparently liked that. We all owe you our lives. Uh, Cassandra, Blackwall, Sarah... That. You've Cole. been a friend. I am not a man who forgets his friends. Stand with me. We should speak to the people together. <laughs> and so, the crown falls to me. This is not the victory I hoped for. I wanted this moment filled with song, not with sorrow. But I have always been a soldier. As every soldier knows, the difference between defeat and victory is how it is named. An enemy has struck the Empire in its very heart. As your Emperor, I promise justice. Orle will not allow such atrocities. Corruption, deceit, murder to go unchallenged. We will face this Corypheus. He will know the wrath of the Lion. We will fight shoulder to shoulder with the Inquisition. Together, we will send our enemy to the Maker's Judgment. Mm. Let's uh, go this way. We will teach Corypheus and his allies the meaning of fear. Their victims will be avenged. We have much work ahead, but that is for another day. Tonight, be at ease, rest, and prepare yourselves for the battle ahead. Here, at last, I find our absent hero, hidden away despite the efforts of all Orle to find you. Gaspar drunkenly toasts in your honor, Deliverer from darkness, and other titles complimentary and awkwardly phrased. That's me, I'm a helper. That's what I do. Fall out of the sky, make bad decisions, and somehow everyone still follows me. So they do. It seems I am also to join that esteemed crowd. By Imperial decree, I have been named liaison to the Inquisition. Gaspar wishes to offer any and all aid to the one who supported his ascent to the throne. So, here I am. Ah. Huh. So, what can you do? What skills do you have that would benefit us? I have knowledge which falls beyond the realm of most mages. I suspect this is also true of Corypheus, thus it behooves you to add to your arcane arsenal, yes? Mundane knowledge will not bring the rift in the sky to a close, after all. Mm. Are you a blood mage? When you say knowledge beyond the realm of most mages, do you mean blood magic? I know many obscure, forgotten, and forbidden arts. Some of it you might consider blood magic, yes? Should thought of that frighten you, allow me to offer reassurance. Knowledge alone does no harm. What I possess, I place at your disposal to make use of or ignore as you desire. Do you want to join us? I had no idea you were interested in joining the Inquisition. The assignment has been given to me, regardless of my personal interest. Gaspar never liked my attendance at court. He wishes me as far from here as possible. Mayhap he feels the Inquisition a convenient repository for unwanted apostates. I cannot say. Regardless, Corypheus is a threat to Orle and to myself. Thus, I am not opposed to the appointment. Mm, welcome aboard. Welcome to the Inquisition, Morrigan. A most gracious response. I shall meet you at Skyhold. Is everything all right? You look troubled. Uh, 
It's been a long night. I'm just worn out. Tonight has been very long. It was a tumultuous evening, but Orle is safe now. It was worth the struggle. Is there anything I can do? Um, can I get you anything? A drink, perhaps? Uh, I think I'm ready to go home. It's time to head back to Skyhold. Of course. It will be good to go home. The matter is urgent, Lady Josephine. I am well aware of that, revered mother. We will need them to return to Valroyo as soon as possible. There are ceremonies, ordinations. Maker's mercy. That's quite impossible at the moment. However, I will see to this matter as soon as possible. My Lady Inquisitor. Please, may I have a word with you? Uh, sure. How may I assist you, revered mother? With the political turmoil put to rest, our minds turn to a single question. The next divine. We cannot answer it without the left and right hands of divine Justinia V. I have already told you, revered mother. Lady Leliana and Sikar Cassandra cannot be spared from their duties. But surely with the support of the Empire, the Inquisition will not be harmed by the loss of just two souls. Uh, why do you need them? Why do you need Leliana and Cassandra? They were Her Holiness's most trusted advisors. They represent her legacy, her hopes for peace in Thedas. They could rally the Grand Clerics to follow as no candidate from the clergy has been able to. Uh... They're candidates for the Divine? Liliana and Cassandra are candidates to become the Divine? How is that possible? Not yet. But they could be. We need them to be. There is precedent. Other times when clerics remained deadlocked, a successor was chosen from outside the clergy. Lady Liliana and Seeker Cassandra were Justinia's most trusted friends and advisors. Our late divine is still held in high esteem. To honor her, the Grand Clerics might support one of them as successor. Uh, how long would they be gone? How long does the Chantry need them? Several months, at least. If one of them is crowned divine, she would not be returning to the Inquisition. I'd have to let them decide. Liliana and Cassandra would have to make that decision for themselves. And they certainly will, at a later date. The Inquisitor has only just returned and has important business to attend to. You must excuse us, revered mother. Don't let them detract from your victory at Alamshiral. The support of the Empire should make our search for the Grey Wardens easier. Varric is eager to help his friend Hawk. Yes, yes, we'll get to the Great Warden thing eventually. Alright, that's another bit of interesting news. But, I think we're going to go ahead and end the episode here. And, uh, see how things play out and what we're going to be doing next. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.